Bismillah Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Today in this tutorial we will discuss the leading brands of the PLC its advantages, its disadvantages, its applications and its different kinds of shooting techniques so stay tuned with me to the till to the end of this video that you can get a whole information regarding your plc's before proceeding further in this video subscribe my channel so that you can get a notification for every new video first of all we will discuss the leading brands of plc american brands consist of ellen bradley old modicon exhaust instruments and in european brands we can get siemens plc's festo plc's Telemechanic PLCs and in Japanese brand can have Toshiba, Omron, Fatic and Mitsubishi. List of items required when we are working with PLC require a PLC, a programming software is used for PLC, and a laptop or PC, communication cable which is which which, which is used to transfer a PLC program, added language program from PLC from 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 your computer to your PLC. Backup copy of letter program is also required when working with PLCs. Documentations, PLC manuals, software manual, drawings, letter program printout, and things like this are required when you are working with your PLCs. What are PLC advantages? PLC advantages are very high. It has much more advantages over previous automation systems, for example, hardware systems. It includes visual observation. Usually, you can see your program working which kind of input is working which kind of output is working which are not working you can visually see this less and simple wiring it it has very it has very uh, reduced wiring junks wiring in the previous techniques were very much jumpal jumping wiring and now in this technique wiring is reduced increased reliability it is more reliable more flexible it is flexible its data can be easily copied from one PLC to the other lower cost its cost is very much reduced because it provides much more automation faster response its response is very much faster and easier to troubleshoot we can easily troubleshoot a PLC remote control capability it can work remotely to control the things working in the field communication capability it can communicate with the SCADA and other systems HMI and various other systems can become can can be made communication with those systems so PLC is more advantageous for the hardware system this advantage of PLC it is a newer technology people are shy to adopt this kind of technology but it is a it, it is a fixed circuit operation it's a, it is a, it is a device and it's it, it's circuit is fixed which is working its limitations PLC devices are proprietary proprietary it means that part of software of one manufacturer can't be used in combination with parts of another manufacturer. PLC devices are the property of some companies. Therefore, one company has its own PLC and its own software and the other companies have their own PLC and their own software. One PLC software is differing from the other PLC software. This is its disadvantage. Applications. PLC has numerous applications. It is used in robotics, manufacturing and control, car parking, train control station system, food processing, material handling, machine tools, conveyor systems, etc. Troubleshooting is very simple. First of all, you need to follow these steps to troubleshoot a PLC. Look at the process. PLC status lights, halt light, check whether the halt light is on or off, run light, check it whether it is okay or not, error light. When there is some error in the PLC, error light will be on. Indicator lights on the input output cards, which are showing that the uh, which one of the input or output is, is uh, working at this time and which one is not working. Consult the manuals. Use software if available. Use programming terminal laptop to check its shooting. Four areas of application are manufacturing, machining, full beverage, metals, in power industries it is used and in mining industry and petrochemical chemical all these are the fields which are applicable for the plc's so you may have learned some new things from this tutorial keep following me on my youtube channel and you can you can get more technical videos relating to plc hmi scada thank you so much for watching this video